Hello, and welcome to another tutorial with Suleiman the Magnificent. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some more 3D XNA programming, and I'm going to be showing you how to rotate individual meshes in your uh, game. Now, this was a problem that I had a lot of trouble with when I was first starting, and I didn't think there was very good documentation on it, so I thought I'd make a tutorial. So, this is where we left off last tutorial. And basically just a rotating object that spun ridiculously quickly. Uh, so yeah, let's just slow that down so it doesn't look that weird. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now that looks a little better. Okay. So, first of all, the way you do it is you have to rotate the bones of your model in order to rotate the meshes of your model. So, when I was having you make this model, I had you keep the meshes separate. So, by keeping the meshes separate, you were allowing you, the X and A to rotate the model, the meshes individually. So, if you combined everything into a single object, you're going to have some troubles. You might have to redo some things if you want to do it this way. Okay, so, in order to rotate the bones, you do model dot bones of the index of the bones. Now up here, I made a note for myself of what the index of the wheels of the bones were. So the front right wheel was at the 8th index, front left was at the 10th. So I'm just going to pick two. Uh, you might have to experiment around with the index in order to find the correct one. And then I'm going to come down here to transform, which is basically where the bones location and rotation and scale and everything is stored. So I'm going to do transform dot translation. Oops, sorry, not translation. Just dot transform is equal to matrix dot create rotation y of rotation dot y. Okay. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to cause it to rotate about the point zero zero because I didn't set a translation to it. And while it simultaneously the model is going to rotate. So I don't really want the model to rotate simultaneously with the wheel so I'm just going to set all these equal to zero. I don't feel like dealing with a rotating model but I would like to rotate my wheels so now what I'm gonna do is I'll run this really quick and you'll see that it'll just the wheel will be at position zero zero and I'll be rotating about the y-axis so that's not really what we wanted at all but I'll show you what we do want okay so let's say that our matrix dot let's say Okay, when you're creating the transformation of your model, you always make sure that you do the rotation first. I'll give you an example of what not to do and why not to do it. So, matrix, sorry, model.bones of two dot transformation dot translation. Okay, so right now I am translating the object before I'm rotating it. Now this will throw everything off. Whoa. Sorry. Matrix dot create translation. Sorry. <sighs> there we go. Matrix dot create translation. So this is the position of where you're bone is in the 3D world and now you'll see what happens as you can see it's accelerating as it rotates around and it's also rotating around the origin and we don't want that but if I make this simple change and move this from there and I copy and paste it right here 
it makes a huge difference. Now you can see the wheel is rotating about its local origin, and that's exactly what we want when we're dealing with rotating about an axis. So instead of rotating about the Y, let's rotate about the X, and let's try and make it simulate a moving car. So here we go. We got this moving, and it's rotating, and that looks pretty good. So here we go. Let's copy this. And all we gotta do is change the index. So I'm just gonna copy the indexes I wrote down from above. Uh, yep. And nine and eight. Okay. And you, of course, you should know that these two numbers have to be the same because otherwise you'll be referencing different bones with different translations. So here you go. Our bones are now rotating, which is nice. And then we can have our thing rotate simultaneously. So now we can see that this is working quite nicely. There we go. Now, our wheels are rotating, and that's pretty cool. Front flips. Alright, so I guess that concludes this tutorial. Uh, basically, all I showed you was how to rotate individual model meshes. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. Leave a like, subscription, comment if you enjoyed, or if you didn't, have any suggestions for me. I'm completely open to suggestions. Uh, have any questions, any comments? I already said comments. Ignore that. Yeah. If you have anything.